everybody, it's Spookfuls. How are you all doing today? And welcome to The Sims 4. Oh my god, I'm so excited to be playing this. Oh my gosh. So, okay, this is normally the day that Pokemon 3D comes out, but I was afraid I was going to burn myself out on it. Um, I had a really rough uh, recording session last time, so I was like, I need to kind of figure out a way to kind of diversify the channel a little bit, kind of post some different content just in case I do get a little tired of editing Pokemon 3D. And I thought to myself, I'm going to do The Sims for. I love The Sims um, and, and I have for a very long time as I've said. Um, and yeah, so here is our legacy founder. I am going to try to complete this legacy. Who knows how long it will take, but I am going to do my best. Um, so we have our founder here, Bo Blackman. He is a computer whiz. He's a quick learner. He's a bro. He's neat and he's a genius. I rolled these in a trait roller. He's a little bit of a perfect sim. He does have a little bit of a quirk in that his voice is unusually high. That was actually a mistake on my half. I for some reason forgot to change it. But anyways, um, yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. I'm really excited. The rules I chose is equality, modern, and last born. So basically the legacy heir will be the last born child, male or female, naturally born or adopted. Um, so yeah, I'll have a link in the description below to the rules in case you want to check that out in more detail. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And here we are at the Oakenstead lot, a 50 by 50 lot that's completely empty as per legacy rules. Um, yeah, it's pretty barren, but over the generations, we're going to fill this lot up and have a beautiful house, I hope. I have plenty of spouses set down. I think about, oh gosh, probably about 18 males, maybe 14 to 15 females. Uh, so yeah, plenty of people to choose from. Hopefully they will... Uh, Hopefully they'll make some children of their own so our children can have some uh, spouses, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I think my first priority is going to be setting up a bed and everything for Bo to sleep in. As I did do a little bit of test recording, and yeah, it's already nighttime, so we need to start fresh in the morning. So we'll go ahead and do that. One second, guys. And good morning, welcome back um, after the jump cut, which I'm sure was no time for you guys, but uh, here's his little home. I tried to give him a little bit of dignity um, by giving him a little bit of wallpaper and a little bit of carpeting. That means we only have $9 to our name, but hey, it's something. So let's take a look at our needs real fast. We are pretty hungry. Can we afford to eat anything. Can you afford to eat some yogurt? How much is that going to cost us? I don't think that's going to cost us anything, which is, oh gosh, we'll see. Are you going to charge us for this yogurt? No, the yogurt is free. Excellent. All right. <laughs> I was a little worried there, but uh, that should take care of our hunger for now. That way we can run over to the library and get ourselves a job. I actually did talk to a few people um, while I was pre-recording, so we know a few people. Um, pretty awesome uh, lady here, Genevieve. Gen I, I don't know how to say her name though. I'm gonna call her Jean. Uh, Jean. So Herman's pretty cute as well. I kind of wanted to hook up with Herman because uh, he's he's an adult, which means he could turn into an elder at any time, but um, it might be fun to have a little fling, give Herman a taste of the single life and everything. I definitely want to try to give him a good bachelor's life before throwing him right into the married life because that's pretty stressful. Uh, for any, for anyone I would imagine to wake up one day and suddenly realize that, uh, oh gosh, we don't have a bin at all. So there's just going to be trash piling up. Well, okay. <laughs> Can I at least move it? Okay, this will be our designated garbage area <laughs> for right now until we can afford a trash can. Actually, can we put it? And I don't want to test that. I was like, can we put it in our inventory and throw it away at the library? But I don't know if that's worth it. <laughs> I may just wait until I can afford a, um, a trash bin. So let's see here. Where is, let's see, is travel? Here we go. Let's travel <laughs> to the library and get ourselves a job. It's going to be pretty exciting. Some of these things I know we could throw away, like the light especially is not needed, and <laughs> that was like $50, but you know, I want him to at least feel a little bit like he's not homeless, <laughs> mildly so. Um, it's going to be a rough first few episodes for Bo, I feel so bad, um, but hopefully we can find a pretty, 
pretty awesome spouse in the future, have ourselves some amazing children that'll become astronauts and secret agents. Bo, I think I've already kind of decided that he's going to probably be in the business career, I'd say. Um, the reason for that is mostly because I want to check out the new job tiers and things like that. Oh, hello Mortimer, it's nice seeing you today. Um, but I do want to check out the new job tiers and I don't think Bo is sure. going to going to be an athlete. <laughs> going to be personal choice there. Um, I'll of course roll the jobs uh, for the children and everything, but for now Bo is going to be a manager. A boring old manager. Okay, so our daily task is to fill out reports. How is your mood? Your mood's okay, so you can go ahead and do this for a little while. Um, let's see here. There it is. So yeah, I'm just going to let him sit here and do that for a little while. Um, of course, now you have to use the bathroom. Of course you do. Well, you're just going to have to hold it, Bo, at least for a little while. Um, get this done first because we need promotions, like, super fast. Um, let's see. I'm not even going to bother with your aspiration right now. That will come later. Okay, so yeah. See you guys in just one second. Okay, so Bo is feeling pretty good. I had him play some computer games after he finished out filling his reports. He was getting along pretty well with Jared here. Um, I don't know about those mutton chops, those. That is, uh, that's pretty... <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous looking. But he is a young adult, so I mean, he's in... He's in the candidate pool of potential spouses. Something I do want to do is run him over to the gym, though, because he's going to need a shower. And right now, we are maximum homelessness. So let's see here. The Oh, do we have to travel from the map? Okay, yeah. Oh, boy. I think that's going to be the case. No, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. We can just visit the gym from here. Do they actually have to load the gym? I bet you they do. Sims 4 is... Uh... <laughs> Sims 4 is pretty uh, hardcore about their loading screens. Wait, hold on. Are you gonna go? Are you actually- okay, yeah. There we go. There's the loading screen. Alright, Jared- oh, I called you Jared because I was still thinking about the sideburns guy or mutton chops guy. Um, anyways, let's go upstairs and find that shower. Here we go. So you run up there, take a shower, and I will take a look around to see if there's any cute people. Who is this lady? We have Dina Caliente. Um, Kaylin? Kaylin's pretty cute. Kaylin's pretty cute. Who are you? Don Lothario. I don't want nothing to do with the Lotharios. <laughs> no, the Lotharios are pretty cool. Let's see, who do we have here? Louisa? Louisa Henderson? She's pretty cute. Alright, and then we have Eliza Pancakes, part of the Pancake family. Bob Pancakes, pretty cool guy. Willow Pennington. Oh, pop, pop, where's that music coming from? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want none of that music business. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Hold on, guys. I have to figure out if I can, like, stop that music. Oh, no. I don't know where that, um... I don't know where the radio is. But, like, it's just playing... Hopefully I can, uh, oh gosh, <gasps> don't give me a content ID strike, please. Please don't. Unwanted. Um, so yeah, we may need to get out of the gym here soon because that's going to be bad for me, uh, until I can figure that out. So anyways, um, is there, okay, I don't know if there's any place to eat in here because, yeah, I don't think that's like a proper bar and I don't think that there's a grill behind the gym. I don't believe so. No, I don't see one. Um, so yeah, let's head on over to the park. See if we can see any cute people there. Head on on over to the park. Here we go, the Magnolia Blossom Park. What a fancy name for a park. Very fancy name. I want to try to get to know everybody in the neighborhood so we can, uh, make sure we have the best selection of spouses and throw the best parties. It's going to be amazing. I'm very excited for this series. I'm very excited to see where it goes. Um, legacies are always really <laughs> such a fun time for me. My favorite challenge has always been the 100 baby challenge. However, without toddlers, um, I'm not sure it's even worth it. Are these spoiled? No, these aren't spoiled. 
Let's see. Um, let's grab a serving of these. Um, I may have made these in the... In, did I make these in the test recording? Let's see if I did. I did. I did make these in the test recording. Oh, boy. Good to know those are still there. Well, at least we can take advantage of that. <laughs> Feels a little bit like cheating, but that's okay. Monique. Oh, Monique is a very nice name. What do you look like, lady? Very pretty. Very pretty. And Princess Kane. Oh, that's a badass name, lady. I love it. Oh, yeah. Take it. All right. Take that name and own it. So, let's see. Do we have anybody else? Corey? Oh, is that, uh, yeah, we met Matilda. Hello, Matilda. Met her in the test recording. She's a pretty nice gal. Shane Ho. Corey again. And do we know you? Ashton. And lady with sunglasses is a teenager. So, doesn't matter. I think I want to come over here and introduce myself to Monique. She is very, very beautiful. My cats are meowing like jerks. Like jerks. They're meowing. Okay. Take your hot dog bow and go introduce yourself to this fine looking lady. They're just having a gathering over here with this chess table. My goodness. Oh, and she's in a playful mood, so we should probably joke with her. Alrighty. You pretty cool gal. <laughs> Just goes over in front of Matilda, like, blocks her. Oh my goodness, okay. Alrighty. I love this park. This park is really beautiful. And my cats are still being jerks. Huge jerks. I may even have to pause the recording they're being such jerks. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, so anyways, um, let's do some more playful stuff with her. Um, tell her a knock-knock joke and all that. I think my comedy skill went up as well, because apparently with being a genius sim, your skills shoot up like crazy, so Bo can talk to, like, one person and have suddenly, like, five charisma skills, it feels like. So... <laughs> At least he's going to be very smooth. Very smooth and very handsome. Just the way I like him. Yeah, I don't know if I'm like the... I feel like the only person who uh, likes playing as guys in The Sims sometimes. Oh man, is there somebody sleeping on a park bench in front of the children? Are you homeless? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Um, that's awful. But anyways. Um, yeah, let's sit here and just talk to the townies for a lo little while. Get to know them. Definitely try to figure out if we can find... Oh, she's sad. Oh, let's go talk to her. I think she might be sad. Hello. Don't be sad, lady. You're very nice looking. Everybody in this town is very nice looking. Um, I guess that's the nature of the Sims, isn't it? Alright, you either have perfect Sims or Sims that look completely outrageous. So, like, okay, this is still Matilda. Is there any way we can... Oh, yeah, we can. Let's see, what is your name? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, she is sad. Let's try and cheer her up. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, brighten her day. Oh, I'll try to make her feel better. Don't be sad. <laughs> Do you feel any better now that I've tried to brighten your day? Oh, no, she doesn't. She's still like, nah. Oh, there we go. Try and cheer her up. Okay. You can do this, Bo. You can do this. What's her name again? Kelsey. It's going to be okay, Kelsey. I don't know what happened, but it's going to be okay. I've had a pretty- Oh no, she's crying. Oh no, and she's mad. Oh, No, don't be mad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I've had a- I've had a pretty rough weekend as well, so I feel you, Kelsey. I feel you. Goodness. It's been a pretty awful few months for everybody, I think. <laughs> Tell a joke about ducks. Trying to make her laugh. Oh, we made her happy! Aw. Kelsey, you're awesome. Okay. She's pretty cool. I feel bad because I have my like back to Matilda and I think she's like trying to talk to me as well. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, Matilda. Oh gosh. This is going well. She really seems to dig us. Sweet. Alright. Share a brilliant idea with her. Oh yeah. Oh, Shane is flirty. But he's an adult. Ain't got no interest in adults around here. Oh. This is going awesomely. Okay. 
Let's see. Your knees are doing pretty okay. I don't really feel an interest in doing anything with your um, aspiration right now because that's just too big a challenge. So yeah, I think, I think we can just hang out in the park for a little while. When does our job start? Let's see here. 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. So today is what day? Monday? So our job starts tomorrow at 9 a.m. So yeah. We need to make sure our needs are as maximum as possible before we go home uh, to make sure that we are in a great mood tomorrow. Because we need, need those promotions, let me tell you. I should probably be talking to Shane as well, so I might as well friendly introduce myself to him. So, although I'm really interested in Kelsey. Let's see. This, oh, she hates children! <laughs> <laughs> she hates children. Great. <laughs> Aren't you the perfect spouse? Okay. Well, never mind then. She's still pretty cool. I'm glad we could cheer her up. That's really the only thing. Um, he'll joke about engineers, I guess. Oh, who is this? Who is this? She, for some reason, suddenly decided to go jogging, so I guess we may never know. Um, Alright, let's see. Are you playing chess with these people, or are you- okay. I was like, are you just sitting here taking up space on this park bench? Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to know both of these people. Alright. Shane's flirty though, so like, let's flirt. Take a flirt with them. Get to know them a little bit better. Have flings with everybody in town. Another- oh, this is Kaylin. Kaylin's a young adult. Do we know her? No. Go introduce yourself to Kaylin. <laughs> Go introduce yourself to Kaylin. Let's see here. She's pretty cute. She has a little bit of an odd looking face. Um, but she's still pretty cute. So, oh my goodness, Bo, you wanna like run into her? Oh my gosh, you just like body slammed into her. Hello. I have no idea how to say your name. Gulanic. Gul I'm gonna call you Gil. <laughs> Just Gil. Let's see. Um, let's. Uh, I hate the mischief things. I've never. This feels like it might as well be in the category as mean because like none of these really. I don't know. None of these really seem to have a positive interaction. <laughs> Yes, Bo's gonna be so smooth with all the ladies. It's gonna be awesome. I love this so much. I, I mean, it is interesting because they did, like, when they released The Sims 4, they were like, it's going to be more about, like, relationships and interaction more than it has been before. Um, so I don't know. I, I do actually like some of the new social choices, and I think they are pretty flexible. There was a lot of, um,. I think there was a lot of changes, like, in the funny category and things like that. Like, you never really, you can always tell, like, a different joke and things like that. Like, there's always, like, the joke about politicians or Martians. Those seem to change a lot. Um, and, uh, depending on personality, you have a lot of different choices as well. What are you guys doing over here? Bo, did you just straight up decide that you were gonna, like, get it on with Kaylin? Okay. <laughs> like, I'm over here talking about the relationships and everything in The Sims, and I didn't even notice Bo getting up and, like, getting it on with Kaylin. Alright. Well, I mean, he really seems to be digging her, so... Alright. I mean, she seems to be digging it as well. But he just had, like, a, like, face that... <laughs> he just thought about not liking her, and yet he's over here, like, flirting with her. And with an awkward encounter... Bo, what are you doing? What are you, Bo, what are you even doing? Bo, you need to calm yourself down. Let's, like, uh, not talk to Kaylin. Oh, wait, who is this? Oh, she's an adult. Val Val Valeria? This is a teen. It's a teen. Let's see. Person sleeping on the park bench seemed to go home. Seemed to have gone home now. Let's see. How is our needs? Let's go ahead and run to the bathroom real fast. Um, it's only 6 p.m., so probably have a little more time before we have to go home and sleep. But I think we did pretty good today. I mean, we got ourselves a job. 
got our relationships up a little bit and uh yeah i think we did all right um we still only have nine dollars to our name but hopefully that'll change tomorrow kaylin for some reason is just in here in the bathroom with us um as well as this guy <laughs> who just seems to be just hanging out um all righty i find it really interesting that neat sims have to wash their hands all the time in the test recording um Bo was just standing around and suddenly walked like 50 feet over to a sink <laughs> to go wash his hands, <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny. Um, so yeah, and I think their hygiene might go down slower than other Sims. I don't know. Seems like it anyways. <laughs> Let's see. Both of those people are ineligible. She's an adult. Yeah, there's nobody here right now really to talk to unless there's this lady. Let's take a look. Or is this a dude? I can't tell. I think it's a dude. Here we go. What are you? Who are you? Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. You know. <laughs> He's over here hanging out with Gil. Okay. Alright. Well, let's just go ahead and head home for right now. You don't need to be energized. What are you even doing? What's making you energized, you crazy banana? Let's see. Fired up from so <laughs> from socialization. My goodness. Okay. Alright, I guess. Alright, and we're back home to our tiny, tiny little lot. Um, let's go ahead and have a quick meal of some orange juice before we go to sleep and get ready for our big day tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I think this has been a pretty alright episode. I'm very excited for Bo to start work tomorrow in the new business career. Very excited to see what it's all about. Apparently they did a lot of work on careers in the newest update. Um... <laughs> He's just so funny, like this like little patch of carpeting here. <laughs> so close to a home and yet so far. Well anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll be happy to take any comments, any suggestions. If you want to tweet at me or leave a comment, I'm more than excited to talk with you guys about this series. If you want to see more Pokemon 3D or you want to see more Sims 4, just let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one, alright? Bye!